let's talk about the biological hazards of nuclear radiations when gamma ray or any high energy nuclear particle passes through the human beings it disrupts the entire normal functioning of the biological system and the effect may be either pathological or genetic the biological effect of nuclear radiation can be divided into three groups the short term recoverable effects a long term irrecoverable effects and finally the genetic effect the extent to which the human organisms is damaged depends upon the dose and the rate at which the radiation is given and the part of the body which is exposed to it smaller dose of radiation exposure produces very short term effects such as skin disorder and loss of hair if the exposure is more than is almost 100 roen gen sar is nothing but roen gen it's a measure of radioactivity or nuclear radiations it may cause a disease like a death of red blood corpuscle in the blood or it will lead to the cancer when the body is exposed to about 600 roen gen ultimately the person will die it causes the death safe limit of the receiving the radiation is about 250 mile roen gen per week so our star is nothing but the radiation exposure which is measured by the unit called roen gen one roen gen is defined as the quantity of radiation which produces 1.6 into 10 power 12 pass of ions in 1 gram of air this one is 10 power 12 the radiation will cause a injury to genes in the reproductive cells this give rise to mutations which pass on from generation to generation you know it right from your father there are some diseases or some so like a kind of a sinus and everything will come to the child so it's a genetic effects which is caused because of radiations the following precautions are to be taken those who are working in radiation laboratories radioactive materials are kept in a thick walled lead container the lead aprons and lead gloves are used while working in hazardous areas All radioactive samples are handled by a remote control process. A small microfilm badge is always worn by the person and it is checked periodically for the safety limit of radiations. I'm trying to show the radioactive space to store all the radioactive samples.